Hello everyone, my name is Susan Santesso and I am the consultant for student success and guidance support at Curriculum Support Services. The goal of this presentation is to inform parents and guardians of the processes, resources, and supports in place in the DSBN for students transitioning from grade eight to grade nine in September, 2021. This transition is among the most challenging periods of adolescence. At this stage of their lives, students are struggling to establish their identities every day through interactions with friends, at school, at home, and in the community. During this period of change, students need to feel safe and to experience a sense of belonging. Research suggests that students who understand who they are feel more confident in their decisions about tomorrow. When students are empowered to design and plan their own lives, they are engaged, they achieve, and they find themselves applying their learning. Students need to make education and career life choices that align with their strengths, interests, and aspirations. Ultimately, students become the architects of their own lives. A smooth transition contributes to a strong foundation for success in secondary school and beyond. In the early grades, students are actively learning about themselves and exploring their world. Teachers encourage young students to become conscious of what they love most to do, what they do best, and how they feel when they are engaged in various activities. Starting in grade seven and grade eight, students continue to explore their interests and now begin to document their interests in their individual pathway plan or IPP. The IPP supports students in grade eight in planning what they need to do in order to make a successful transition from elementary to secondary school. Individual pathway planning continues in high school, providing students a chance to learn more about themselves and their opportunities, set goals and make plans to achieve them. Beginning this September, the DSBN will be de-streaming all grade nine compulsory subjects in English, French, geography, math, and science. As you may have heard, the Ministry of Education announced last summer that they would begin the de-streaming process for incoming grade nines with a new math course. In addition to the new de-stream math course, the DSBN will have grade nine students take all of their compulsory courses at the academic level. Students will take up to eight courses in grade nine, five compulsory, and three elective or optional courses that reflect a student's interests. De-streaming will impact grade nines who originally registered in applied or academic courses. They will now be studying in the same course, just like they're used to doing in their elementary school. Students who will be studying in SSTW, Specialized School to Work Program, also known as the Essential Level Program or Locally Developed, will continue to learn in that program and will not be affected by de-streaming. Also, students who will be in our SSTC program, Specialized School to Community, also known as our low enrollment classes, will continue in that program. All 17 DSBN schools will be participating. DSBN Academy are already doing this. By de-streaming in grade nine, more students will be empowered to pursue the futures they want with doors open to all post-secondary options, including apprenticeship, college, university, or into the workplace. It's important that your student and every student can access any opportunity they need while they're in secondary school to pursue the path of their choice. When all students take academic courses in grade nine, everyone is given the chance to better determine their futures. Transition supports are in place early on in a student's education. Throughout their elementary years, students often had the opportunity to visit their local high schools for musical, athletics, drama productions, and much more. This allows students to gain a sense of familiarity and confidence with their surroundings and a sense of belonging. This past year, guidance staff set up virtual visits with grade eight classrooms 
or created videos to introduce themselves and enlighten students to the opportunities available in their upcoming high school. This year, students also had the opportunity to access online modules that provided individual pathway planning activities in the areas around who am I, who do I wanna become, and how do I get there? Of course, each year DSBN hosts open houses, this year called Sneak Peek Week and virtual. These events allow students and parents the opportunity to visit the high schools, meet the staff, discover opportunities, and ask questions. DSBN also creates a Make the Move guide for parents and students, similar to this presentation. There are also summer school programs which offer Reach Ahead credits and literacy and numeracy support. In August or early September, many secondary schools reach out to transitioning students to offer support. Of course, when a student enters grade nine, there are several supports available to ensure students can be successful. Your student's teacher will be the primary source of support. Parents and guardians are encouraged to communicate with the classroom teacher on a regular basis to help support their student. Additionally, all secondary schools at the DSBN have student success teachers and special education resource teachers, or CERTs, whose focus is to work with students who may need extra support or accommodations. Each school's student success team monitors student pro progress and offers further support as needed by working with students and families. Guidance counselors, principals, and vice principals are always available to help students as well. Each school has a special education resource teacher or CERT who can help with the academic planning for students with an individual education plan, IEP. Classroom teachers work with the CERT to provide accommodations and supports for students. If a student is on an IEP in grade eight, the IEP will continue in high school, but it will look slightly different. Students will still receive the same accommodations they had in grade eight, such as a quiet workspace or extended time limits on assignments and tests, but modifications such as changes to the number or complexity of course expectations cannot be made in credit bearing courses. To the extent possible, timetabling strategies will be put in place for students that address the particular needs of a student's IEP. Some examples include delaying some compulsory courses until semester two or beyond, which also may allow for the use of a resource period for support. Principals may substitute up to three compulsory credits with courses from other subject areas in order to provide the flexibility to tailor an individual student's program to the student's needs and to support his or her progress through secondary school. And ensuring that the student's timetable includes a range of courses that the student finds interesting and engaging and that are appropriate to the student's learning needs. When preparing for the transition to high school, it is especially important that students make their well-being a priority. Practicing proper self-care will promote positive mental health and help prevent distress. Just a few things they should be doing are setting a consistent time to put away electronic devices at night, sleeping for at least eight to nine hours every night, exercising or being physically active every day, and eating nutritious meals. Some secondary schools have a youth counselor available who are great resources when students need someone to talk to about issues like stress, relationship, self-esteem, anger management, academic motivation, and meeting basic needs like housing, food, and clothing. All secondary schools have a social worker connected to the school. Social workers work with students who are experiencing more complex difficulties such as mental or physical illness, complex family issues, problematic substance use, or distress regarding identity. They can also help students and their families access community services and resources such as mental health treatment. For the 2021-22 school year, the DSBN offers some specialized programs. English as a Second Language, ESL, 
program provides English language learners with support in the development of English skills and literacy. ESL programs are available at designated secondary schools. The Specialized School to Work program allows students to participate in Workplace Pathways courses, Workplace Focused Experiential Learning Opportunities, Skill Development, and Workplace Experiences. These will allow the students to develop the knowledge, skills, attitudes, and abilities that prepare them for the world of work once they have earned their Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Many schools offer alternative programming, which is available for students identified with intellectual disabilities and demonstrated complex learning needs. In the Specialized School to Community, SSTC program, students may take classes modified from the Ontario curriculum, or they may take alternative courses. Five schools offer the French Immersion Program. Students will take French Immersion Language Arts courses. Students in French Immersion at all grades will study a variety of subjects with French as the language of instruction. There are many Indigenous student events and learning opportunities available to all DSBN secondary students which include courses taught with Indigenous perspective in many subject areas, community members supporting student learning within courses and at student events. There are courses offered with Indigenous Studies 9 to 12, academic social and emotional support for Indigenous youth, student voice and leadership opportunities for Indigenous youth to connect and lead. Before finishing this session, I would like to close with one statement that should help put all parents and guardians at ease. Our teachers understand that every student brings a different set of skills and knowledge, and they plan for these differences. We have supports in place to ensure that all students can be successful. Thank you.